Hey, this is Mike. I am here at Grand Strand Nissan with a 2016 Nissan Maxima Platinum. And this one is awesome. It is sold, so I can't really uh, do any kind of driving or anything like that with it. But I was able to pull it in this dark room and kind of do a night video. So it is daylight actually, but this dark room, we can get an idea of what it looks like at night. So there's the, the parking lights are on. And those are kind of like the daytime running lights. You can see they kind of have that sporty, sharp look to them. All right, let's take a look here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the headlights on and the fog lights so we can see all the lights there in the front. There we go. Now this is the platinum trim level, so it has the LED projectors here. So these are the, the projector lights, and they are an LED light, very white, and you can probably notice they are a whiter light than the halogen fog lights down here. So that's one of the things you, you'll notice with LEDs is they're much whiter light. Usually you can't notice it until you have something to compare, but there's a good comparison right there. It looks so awesome in those lights. You can just tell that it's a Maxima, a 16 Maxima coming at you. So let's take a look at the back. Back here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They did a really good job with the 16 Maxima all the way around, especially the lights. I'm going to go ahead and turn those back on because it will automatically turn them off after a minute or so to save your battery. But we're good on the battery for now. It's like a nice soft glow but you can really see it from a distance it doesn't seems like the further you are away the more sharp those lines are also we can see the side marker there all right so let's take a look at the light pattern here you can see it does have like a line right there to keep most of the light down out of people's faces but in a, in a way to where you can uh, see the road really well. So it's not a scattered light, it's a very focused beam in a specific area. So let's go ahead and turn the high beams on. So now the fog lights just turn off, but then you've got this really strong halogen light turns on with the LED. So you'll notice it's a, it's a higher amount of light and it's more scattered, it's more flood, more of a flood light. So you can see where the LEDs are still in that line, but then it's accented with this really strong floodlight uh, with the halogen reflector lights. I'm going to turn that off. So you can see that pretty good, uh, pretty good style and, and looks really sharp. So here it is with all the lights turned off, but this is the daytime running lights. And they are significantly bright. So you can see they do cast a pretty good amount of light in front of you so you want to make sure that you actually turn your actual headlights on and not forget because they might, you might think that these are your headlights on um, but you know it's just your daytime running lights now when your daytime running lights are on your rear lights are not on you see that so if you're driving around and you don't realize that your headlights are off and you just run it you drive around with daytime running lights uh, you know, it could be a safety hazard because nobody can see you from behind. Good thing that this vehicle has automatic headlights, so that eliminates that problem. All right, so let's take a look at the trunk. All right, we do have a light in there, right there, and it seems to cast a pretty decent amount of glow. It's not a real bright light, and it is a single source of light, so it's uh, going to cast a shadow like you can see over in this corner here. 
So let me go ahead and give you some context here, what I'm looking at. There's the trunk, and you can see there's some dark spots. So, but it does give you, you know, some, some ability to see in here. All right, here's the inside of the back door. You can see it has, um, the only light on it is this little backlit button here for your power window. The rest of it is just eliminated from the interior lights, which it does have two interior lights on either side of the sunroof there, which light the back seats really well. And the back seats are amazing looking. So the seats are well lit. The floorboard has a little bit of light in there, but it, you know, it's not, not too bad, but um, it's a little dark there. turn this on so you can see but yeah the seats are amazing aren't they and they're, they're, they have a nice soft pretty soft light on the, the back seats all right so here's the inside of the driver's door you can see you do have a, a marker there so if somebody's if you open up the door the car can see you that the door is actually open you do have some backlit buttons here on the on the uh, the door here, the front automatic lights are a little backlit. The power door locks, uh, the, your side mirrors are not. You got some floorboard illumination. You have some the illumination from the back lights are coming in the front. Plus you have your lights here, plus the floorboard, which gives you a nice, cool look to the interior. It's not too uh, not too bright and not too dark. It's I think it's a good good combination there. So let's take a look at the inside. All right, here we are on in the inside. And you can see it does have a lot of backlit buttons. To help navigate through the vehicle. And then you have this ambient light here coming down, kind of giving you some little bit of what I call like a moonlight effect where it gives you just a, just enough light to see navigate in the vehicle with your you know putting your stuff around but without being too bright where it's distracting from your driving all right so one of the things here in the settings is your accent lighting which I have on full blast right now and that is a little bit of a light that comes down underneath the wood grain around the vehicle and it's really soft but it just kind of you uh, it kind of looks like something's reflecting off of it but it's let me turn on the light here just so you can see what I'm looking at you see the wood there and then you've got that light just shining underneath it that's what I'm talking about it looks really sharp I wish I was a little bit darker room to where maybe that'll pop a little bit more but it does look really good so that's the one thing, and you can you can adjust it brighter or darker. Um, it, it will probably be it's full blast down. It's not that bright, so it seems unlikely that you'd want it dimmer. But anyways, you do have the ability to dim uh, your interior lights here to make it brighter or dimmer, like that. And so let's take a look at the backlit buttons. Got the buttons there all backlit on the door as well as the uh, these buttons here and then here on the steering wheel everything is backlit you got all those little buttons there to where you can see them they're not too bright they're a perfect illumination so you can see what they are without disturbing your driving uh, distracting you the gauges like I said you can adjust the brightness of those and you can get them full blast if you wanted to and then your screen here with the but backlit buttons around it but the screen with the navigation screen it has the it's like a night mode now to where the background is dark instead of white light so I could just show you the difference here by turning the lights off and you see it's that's pretty bright I mean trying to you know see with that uh, it's a little bit distracting so when you put on your headlights it dims down to the night mode and that really is really easier on your eyes at nighttime Then you got that start button, and then you have all these buttons backlit so you can see them. 
All right, and in here we've got a backlit power supply in that little storage pocket. I'll give you some context here. That's what I'm looking at. All right, the glove compartment. Let's take a look in there. It does have a light in there. It's pretty good size too. A little bit too, maybe a little bit too big because it's going to get cluttered. And like I showed you, it's got this little ambient light that comes down here, which is really cool. And the has an auto dim rear view mirror, which is auto dimming now, plus the auto dim side mirror there. See, it's dimming. You can see the edges are still uh, the brightest. All right. So let me turn the vehicle off. So now all the the interior lights are turning on. Let me turn that off. That's pretty cool. The, the start button pulsates to kind of get your attention that that's what you need to push in order to start the vehicle. It kind of throbs. Kind of like a heartbeat, I guess. So you get in. And it stops. The interior light's on. So I put my foot on the brake. Just let me know to put my foot on the brake. All right, so then I push the button, it starts up. The steering wheel itself adjusts. Then I have this welcome screen here and here. Nissan Connect. And turn my headlights on, and there we go. All right, there you have it, 2016 Nissan Maxima Platinum at night. So you can see all the cool light, lighting that this vehicle has. All right, thank you for watching. If there's any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. If there's anything I looked over or any kind of clarifications you can, anything you can clarify on this vehicle, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. See you next time.